And the third quarter about to get underway here. What a game we're seeing from Brianna Stewart. She went absolutely off those first two quarters, guys. She's capable of doing that each night she hits the floor. We might see some changes here in the defensive approach they use as we hit the second half. Well, they've got to make some sort of change, right? I mean, they can't let her continue to torch them when she has been. Now the second half about to get started up again any moment. Now here is Ionescu. Stewart up top. Back to Ionescu. It's good, and she drew the contact on the shot, so she'll go to the line. Three-point play opportunity. Sabrina Ionescu might be the most hyped player we've ever seen coming into the league. I mean, you can think about draft night 2020. Her jersey sold out within minutes of the Liberty taking her. Power, that's good. Well, using recognition and awareness, Agumba Wale is able to make the unselfish delivery. Ionescu up top, guarded by Dangerfield. Ionescu outside. And the shot goes in. So much pressure on Ionescu from the jump. That's what happens when you start your career in New York City. Well, everything is magnified in the Big Apple, but Sabrina's navigated it very well. From her humble beginnings in Walnut Creek, California, all the way to New York, Ionescu's risen to the occasion. Now here's a Google Wale. She's got eight. For three, Shakina Strickland drills the three-pointer. No hesitation on the catch and shoot. Strickland's good at making quick decisions offensively. Ionescu outside. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. For three, drills it from outside. Three for three. That's the way to start the second half. It's Shakina Strickland on the wing. Cambage with the bucket. Around the rim, Cambage's height gives her a big edge. She makes draining that shot look easy. Pass to Han. Stewart on a screen. And the shot goes down. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. I mean, there's more holes in their defense than in a block of Swiss cheese. Man, you just made me hungry, but, but that's right. Five of the last six makes were in tight. They've established themselves inside. Where's the cheese? Now here's Cambage. He's got six. Howard the screen. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Robinson. To the left side wing. Here's Stewart. Again, the Liberty good for two. And a blazing start to the second half. They've hit all five shots. And the Wings call time here. Yeah, I think the head coach saw too many easy buckets coming from inside and wanted to put a stop to it. I would think so. I would think so. If they keep giving up the kind of easy looks inside that they have been, they're in big trouble. Tim. And they've got to change something up. Let's see what they do. So both teams making some changes here. Third quarter here and three minutes have come off the clock. Outside of Gungawale. Fires the three. 
Yes, and it's Crystal Dangerfield picking up the assist. With the ability to get off quick releases, Agumba Wale can excel in the catch and shoot. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have passed. Outside Stewart. Out of bounds, it'll go to the wings. The ball goes to Dallas. the wings with the ball down by 12 ball's knocked loose it's stolen by Robinson here's the break here's Jones and the layup's good off the glass no matter who starts the break she's usually the one who finishes it and I love watching her just attack the rim at full speed like that now here's Dangerfield he's got five Here's Agunba Wale, and the foul on Robinson. Robinson. That's her first foul. On defense, New York. Danger field, right side. Cambasia screen. Just five on the clock. There's Agumba Wale with the three. Three-pointer. Can't connect there, but still a red-hot start to the half. Hitting four of their first five. Huh. On defense, New York. It's a 14-point game. Pass to Cambage. Six to shoot. Here's Dangerfield. And so she draws the foul on the shot. Yeah, trips to the line to shoot. Not the player you want to send to the stripe. Dangerfield shoots it at a very high percentage at the line. She's gone two for two at the line so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Well, every team wants a point guard like Crystal Dangerfield on their roster, plays the game hard, and she is a winner. She hits both from the stripe. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. To the wing on the left. Jones inside, covered by Collier. Six on the shot clock. Over to the wing. Three-pointer, Brianna Stewart. And the Liberty get it back. Here's Johannes, guarded by Dangerfield. Outside Stewart. Outside Robinson. Pass to Johannes. Shoots over Dangerfield. Again, the Liberty good for two. Well, she's shot the ball well, but she hasn't shot it enough. The more shots she gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Now here's the Shields. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. That shot wide open. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed coming from beyond the arc. Timeout called the Liberty.
So it's both teams making substitutions here. Soft touch off the glass. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. During the Bradenton bubble in 2020, Courtney Vandersloot shattered the WNBA single game assist record. The old record was 14. She said, hey, how about 18? Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more recent day have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It sets its own. Shots good by Johannes. And guys, if there's an assist record, Courtney Vandersloot probably has it. The playoff and final single game record, the single playoff year record, the all time best uh, assist average. Courtney Vandersloot, the standard when it comes to dimes. Outside, Agun Mawale. Pass to McCowan. Over Dolson. Here's Sabali. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. And offensive glass getting it done. And confident play we're seeing out of them. Yeah, the scoreboard tells the story. Outside, Robinson. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Agunba Wale. Well, most games she can hit from deep, but this game, it's not there for her. Pass to the Shields. She tries for three. The shot, no good. On offense, here the Liberty. Outside, Robinson. Dolson up top. Shot clock at six. Here's Johannes. And it's Kayla Morton with the foul. Kayla. That is her first foul of the game. Team foul. Team's first. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Now here's a Google Wale. She's guarded closely. And the foul on Robinson. Robinson. That's foul number two Second for her. Foul. Third team foul. <laughs> Sabali the screen. The quality shot contest will always put a smile on your coach's face. Stewart's one of the league's smartest defenders. Four on the clock. Outside to Shields. And the ball out of play. The Liberty will have it. There's no excuse for that turnover. That's just a straightforward pass gone wrong. Vandersloot with it. Stewart up top. over Sabali. Stewart with the bucket. At the offensive end, she's done as much as they could have hoped for today. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Now here's a Wale. She's got 14. Six on the shot clock. Outside to Shields. There's the three. Diamond to Shields, can't get that one to fall. She has yet to hit a shot this quarter and, and really just can't get it going. Vandersloot outside. Ionescu outside. Stewart with the screen. Pass for Robinson. Fires from deep. 
Dallas with the rebound. She just has not gotten into the flow of this game. But yeah, her teammates have certainly done their part today, but she just hasn't gotten into the flow of this game. And it's uh it's been tough to see. Oh, come on, Shakina Strickland for three. It's good, and the assist that time from Diamond to Shields. A shooter like Strickland changes everything about a team's spacing. She can score from several different spots on the floor. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. It's the Liberty. They lead by... And we welcome you back as we get going into the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Dallas with the ball, trailing by 13. Pass to Howard. Here's Cambage. Cambage's screen. Here's Agumba Wale. Five on the clock. Strickland with the bucket and add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not letting up. You love to see that. Ionescu outside. Kicks it out to Jones. Pass to Vanderflug. Robinson. Shoots the three. Doesn't get it to drop for her. And Dallas the other way now. She's had an off game, but her team has been able to pick up the slack and get it done here today. Now here is McCowan. Agunba Wale. Ambasia screen. Shot from 12. That one falls, coming off Arike Agunba Wale's nice beat. A potent player, even without the ball in her hands. Cambage knows where to be on the basketball court at all times. Yanescu outside. Out to the left wing. Well, Jones from long range. That's another one for her. Her fifth in just seven shots. A modern forward. Jones hits threes at an incredible rate. One of the most accurate shooters in the WNBA. Outside, Agumba Wale. On grabs the miss. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that one. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Back to Inescu. On down low. Beige is there on no good. Pass to Gumbawale. Now here's Cambage. Screen by Cambage. It's Shakina Strickland on the wing. Howard. Back to Strickland. McCowan. Guarded by Jones. McCowan, no good. Here's New York now. At one point, they led by 16. Now, here is Ionescu. She's covered by Strickland. The baseline, Jay. Left side, Robinson. Vandersloot, and lots of contact there. Missing the shot, and will shoot two at the line. That one on Agumba Wale. More of a distributor than a scorer, but Vandersloot can still attack defenses in her own right. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. Now thinking back to those 2021 WNBA Finals, Courtney Vandersloot was unreal. I and mean, dishing out at least 10 assists in each of the four games, a big reason the Sky won it all. So she gets them both. 
And that 2021 playoff run for Courtney Vandersloot, just incredible. It really was. Courtney set the assist record for a single postseason, so she's got pretty much every assist record now. But way more important than that, Vandersloot took home her first WNBA title. Sometimes a player just needs the right situation. I mean, just look at Natasha Howard. Since a 2018 trade from Minnesota to Seattle, Howard's career has taken off. Here's Johannes. Started now by Agugawale. Robinson. New York, no good that time either. Can't get a much better look than that. Yeah, no way you expect her to miss that shot. Rejected by Jonquel Jones. Well, you see why Jones led the league in blocks in 2019. A ferocious defender with tremendous length. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Dangerfield with it. Hahn on her. It's stolen by Jonquel Jones. Vandersloot outside. Pass to Hahn. Johannes just four to shoot. Jones with it. Guarded now by Kim Beige. And again, it's the Liberty missing. And Natasha Howard, the 2018 most improved player in the WNBA. In a starting role, Howard exploded with the storm. Given a chance to play more, Natasha Howard has blossomed into one of the best forwards in the WNBA. Goes back up. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Jones outside. Pass to Johannes. Jones. Outside Robinson. Back to Jones. He brings it in as a shot clock six down. Yeah, the ticking clock does not phase John Quell Jones. She's a reliable shooter, even under pressure. Field left side. A kick out to Bumbawale. Pass to Strickland. Here's Campaign. The second chance effort from downtown. And Shakina Strickland with the three. She's pouring it on in the second half. Really a much better showing than she had before the break. Timeout called the Liberty. leading now here's Vandersloot pass to Jones the 11 footer Vandersloot with it screen by Stewart let's go with a three and that's good Courtney Vandersloot for three if you poll WNBA coaches, Vandersloot might be the top choice to ball handle in the pick and roll. Great handles and decision making. Dangerfield, right side. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. 
It's going to go on Courtney Vandersloot. Well, you allow someone to get to the rim like that, and really that's your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. And the first one at the line is good. Even though they're down, they're putting on a show at the free throw line this half. Man, they're making the most of their opportunities at the charity stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. He's perfect from the line this time. And it's New York's ball. At one point, they led by 16. Vander Sloot outside. She makes good on the layup. Figuring out ways to score inside at 5'8. Vandersloot has multiple ways to finish. Here's Dangerfield. Master Gumbawale. Over Robinson. And another miss by Dallas. Vandersloot outside. I love how Vandersloot is not afraid to fight for it. Just finds a way to finish through contact. Arike Agupawale on the wing. Robinson covering. Dangerfield left side. Shoots over Vandersloot. A shot by Dangerfield. No good. And if they want, they can milk the clock a little bit here. Great point, Blake. That'd be the best option. I'd agree, you should coach. <laughs> Here's Jones. Foul call that time on the way up. And that will give her two chances at the free throw line. Endless energy from Jones. Plays hard the whole game constantly. Putting pressure on defenders. Two shots. She knocks down the first one. Well, at 6'6", John Quell Jones has such a unique skill set. She's led the league in rebounding, and she's led the league in blocks. Plus, she's finished top three in three-point shooting. And good on the second, so she makes both. And the MVP, John Quell Jones, really a unicorn in this league. Uh, Jones is absolutely a one of one. Everybody wants three point shooting, they want rim protection. Well, John Quell, she offers both, but beyond the skills, Jones is a great leader, a cornerstone for this franchise. And the wings call time here.
Mawale. Robinson covering. Strickland outside. From deep three-point range, from beyond the arc, and then some. Oh, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner because it's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep ball. Inside. And that one's good, Jones. Total dominance by Jones tonight. She loves getting to her spots and finding a rhythm. Dangerfield outside. Asto Gumbawale. Gambage. Gambage's screen. It's Shakina Strickland with the drive. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Dangerfield. Misses the step back jump shot. She keeps trying to force it up when she's guarded, and she's just getting brick after brick. Here's my suggestion. Move the ball around. Here's Stewart. Out to Vandersloot. Robinson. Vandersloot outside. From the arc. They get the rebound. Stewart. And finally, they hit one. And that's got to be the nail in the coffin. I'd say so. They've done a great job of closing this one out, never backing off, even with the big lead. Outside, Agumawale. Cambasia screen. Pass to Strickland. The tray. But they recover it. There's another opportunity. I mean, everything is going right for them. And here's a Gumbawale. Drains the three-pointer. A skilled passer, Dangerfield, loves to move the ball. And they've built a very nice lead. No signs of uh, slowing down, at least as far as I can tell. Vandersloot outside. takes this one by a big margin. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. And they put on a show here at home. I think they had, they felt like they had the edge and that extra confidence. And that's a wrap, everyone.